totally psyched to be talking about culture. A learning culture, right? Well, I was thinking culture. No, we're talking about a learning culture, like changing culture to be more like a learning culture. And I noticed that you um, brought your NASA jacket today. Can you tell us a little bit about why well, you'd be wearing a NASA jacket on our show? Absolutely. Well, I still think it, it fits for sure. But a couple things. You don't see kids wearing Pentagon t-shirts, do you? They will wear NASA t-shirts. And that's because NASA is pretty cool. Space exploration, they have an incredible culture. NASA has an incredible culture. Aren't they like bureaucratic as much as we are in education? Yeah, that's exactly right. They are bureaucratic. Over 18,000 civil servant workforce. But I'll tell you, when it comes to safety, when it comes to integrity, when it comes to teamwork, and when it comes to overall excellence, I'm not sure it gets better than NASA. So you're right, we're talking about a learning culture, but I wanted to wear the NASA shirt, one, because people don't mess with people in orange vests. They typically think that something might be either a little off or you're on the roadway doing something, working with the government. And NASA, that's what we wanna dig into a little bit when it comes to a learning culture, because when it comes to science exploration, when it comes to doing anything that revolves around getting better, figuring things out, and working in a dynamic industry, you have to have the right learning culture. So let's figure out how that makes it with us, which I'm Joe. And TJ. And so we're going to bring to you our Read This series, which essentially is about what should be in a school leader's library. And we have two books that we're going to share with you. The first one for me is Meta and Finds. This book is phenomenal, TJ. In Search of Deeper Learning. I'll say this. This book is not for the faint of heart. It's not something you're going to read in a day. But I'll say not only is it very sophisticated, but it is also incredibly accessible. And which is an interesting um, cooperation among the two, because I think a lot of times we want to read books that are scholarly, and then we want to read books from practitioners. And very often, though, we're looking for the mix. This book is the mix of just that. And TJ, there's just one thing I wanted to talk about real quick. Like there's a part in here that says deeper learning at the margins. Why the periphery is more vital than a core. So there's a whole chapter in here about things like why electives are doing it right and what we can learn from electives and apply that to core classes. But then they also get into individuals like they feature practitioners doing work like Mr. Fields and how he unpacks things in his classroom. This really should be reading for everyone. As a high school guy, I love it. But when we're going to talk about building a learning culture, about how we're going to actually make our schools better, we're going to do what's right for students, which means though that the individuals that are working there embrace that culture. They're not working in silos. They're cooperating together and they're functioning well as a team. That's what it's all about. Yeah, Deeper Learning, that's a great book. And it's a point that I like to make all the time in, in my own system, which is the related arts classes, the electives, that's where it's at. Mm -hmm. Evidence of learning in art, in theater, in music, it's alive and well, and core teachers can learn a lot from that. In particular, the evidence of learning. What's it look like when you're on a stage, when you play an instrument, when you, when you did the art project? How do we apply that to math, language, arts, social studies, and science? It's a great pick. Nice to go. A little nice orange there to go with your uh, NASA jacket. Here's a little more orange for you. Fearless Schools. This is a great book. Fearless Schools, Building Trust, Resilience, and Psychological Safety by Douglas Reeves. Now, Doug's been on our show twice. One, getting ready to come out from Focus Ed but he's also been on Leading Better and Growing Faster with Joe and TJ to talk about things like how you build a learning culture. Well, I like that Doug points out a couple of things. First, he starts this book with trust, the trust imperative. 
super important because you can't have psychological safety unless people feel trust. You also can't have risk taking without psychological safety. And that's where fearless comes in. There's just too much fear going on in our school these days from the top all the way into the classroom. And I don't like it, Joe. And so I'm hoping that while leading through fearless schools, reading Doug Reeves' book, we can learn to build these environments where learning takes place, that we're not just focused on teaching and leading, but we're focused on learning. And in a learning culture, we all show up as learners. We all have something to learn today. I'm learning from my staff. I'm learning from my students. The teachers are learning from their students. They're learning from their content. They're learning from the specialists. And we bring that kind of mindset to the workplace. The sky is the limit. Maybe the moon is not even the limit, Joe. But we always leave um, readers with a tip. Do you have any tips for readers today? I do. Both of these books are profound in their own right. We are big fans of Doug Reeves, like TJ pointed out, and he makes several points in there, as well as this book, In Search for Deeper Learning. I would not read these books alone. That's the tip. Listen, this is a book study book. Like if you really want to improve your system, read this with your team. If you truly want to embrace the ideas in Fearless, you have to read it with your team because ultimately this is not something that you can do alone. And that's what you're talking about, TJ. We have to learn from one another. That is the learning culture. And I love the fact that you brought up that, listen, if we can break the chains of fear, the sky is the limit. Because we'll say this now, listen, the narrative around education, public ed in the United States is already negative. It is already negative. So if we face it and are willing to do the work to change that narrative, people will really uncover the great things going on in our schools. A great tip, learning culture starts with you. Get into a book club, pick up one of these books. We're going to link to them in the show notes at the schoolhouse302.com. That's the schoolhouse302.com for blog posts, podcasts, books to read. This show, Leading Better and Growing Faster with Joe and TJ. We will see you next time.